This guitar belongs to a brother of mine at church. It's uh, based on a D15. It's a Martin. It is a, a, series, a, a model of D15 that Martin did about 10 or 12 years ago for Guitar Center. Uh, they used all the D15 specs, but they put a spruce top on it and the uh, tortoise shell binding and, and all of that. It's a beautiful kind of understated guitar and it sounds really good but he doesn't uh, he's not used to having an all solid wood guitar and uh, I told him when he got it that he would have to keep it humidified he would have to keep it uh, in the case uh, or keep it in a some place that had a controlled environment in his home and uh, he leaves it at the church and the church in the summer or the winter time they don't turn the heat or the air on until like the morning before evening service or the the evening before morning service and then during the week there's no you know humidity or temperature control there at all except just enough to keep the pipes from bursting kind of deal and uh it goes through a lot of swings he, he, I, I got it a year or so ago and the top was split wide open so I put some wood cleats, which are nothing more basically than triangles of wood that you glue like that with the grain running diagonal. Or I guess you could probably do it like that too with the grain running across. Uh, and I glued them to the underside of the top here, here, and here. And a couple of weeks ago, we had the same issue. The top was split. It was split worse. So I put it in a plastic bag uh, with some uh, paper towels soaked in water, making sure that they don't actually touch the guitar, and left it there for a couple of weeks. And the top closed up really good. Now, if he kept this in a controlled environment, then that top would be just fine. But he doesn't. So what I'm going to do now is I can't get, I started, I tried to use a bit of tight bond thin with water and squeeze it into these, this crack. Uh, it won't go. The crack is closed up tight enough now where it just will not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put just a little bit of, I'm going to run me a bead of super glue along this crack. And see if that will go down in there. I don't want to leave it too long. that's the only thing that I can think of that might run down in that crack and I'm going to take some basically naphtha which is lighter fluid I'm going to take some water first and clean that a bit and flood that real quick because I want to clean the CA off of it And I'll be right back. Well, what I want to do first before that CA dries completely is I want to clamp this very lightly.
and then I'll be right back. All right, the CA has had time. CA sound or acrylate uh, super glue has had time to cure. I'm going to take some thousand grit sandpaper. Do a bit of buff. Really, what I need to do, hold on a minute. Make me a little scraper tool. Put the tape along so the corners of that don't. Don't dig in. I need to do some adjustment. And if I have to, I'll take a file and round those corners. I just want to get that off of there. As much as possible. spots I still want to get. Every time I set that down there, I see another spot I want to take care of. So anyway, this thousand grit. And sand on it a bit. And when I run across little bits and pieces of that finish that CA that and tape that start to show up when I sand I'll come back here and scrape a little bit more of it off all right and now I'm gonna take you 2000 buff that just a bit. You gotta be careful. I don't want to go through this finish, but I don't want to leave any more of that than I have to. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use good old turtle wax then.
and buff the snot out of it. Try to get it to go away as much as possible. Whether it will all go away or not, I don't know. What I'm going to do, this is old compound. So I'm going to put a little water on it. And do that number there. That's getting there with that work on some areas that I know have some issues. not bad let me get some preservation polish and see what that will do and I'm sorry it's not preservation polish it's Stumac swirl remover uh, Stumac is in Stuart McDonald for those of you that might not know might not work on guitars or or build guitars. Come on now. Give me some polish. There we go. This is good stuff. Uh, commercial grade or uh, automotive grade stuff works just as well. No issues. But I like this. And it's well worth it's not bad but Where's my 2000? There's a couple of spots I want to kind of Alright, a little bit more on the buffing compound.
it's hot outside and the uh, heat is making the stuff dry so I'm just using that damp paper towel to kind of extend the time that I have to work with the, before it dries. If it dries really solid it's really really hard to get off so And that's probably the very best that I'm going to be able to get it, get my mirror out of there. Hopefully that will solve the issue. Hopefully he'll keep it better humidifier. So alright, thanks for watching. Later.